hello everyone and welcome in hope everyone is doing well positive healing vibes to all the subscribers viewers and the world out there if you want to skip the intro there will be a timestamp below please keep in mind guys that the messages here on youtube are general meaning they're not going to resonate every time it's really about the title if there's something in the title resonating there's most likely going to be something in the message for you I like to say if you can feel it, then it's most likely your message. So if it hits you, okay, if the message does resonate, there is a link below in the description box for the extended version. That's how you get entered into the drawing that we do here every month for free personal readings. There's also information below for the ritual kits that I offer for personal readings, the decks that I use, the tarot course offered, it's all linked below. And if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. So let's jump right in. So this message is going to be for Pisces, broken heart reading for the month of December. And in this message, Pisces, we're first going to tap into the energy surrounding you, the energy surrounding your person, and we're going to see what's challenging this. Then we're going to dive a little deeper into the message and we're going to look into what the next move will be. Anything hidden that you need to be made aware of. Where this is all heading and advice guidance moving forward. We'll clarify throughout the message as well as pull a few oracle cards at the end. If it's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. So Pisces, see the energy surrounding you for the month of December. Most important message here for Pisces spirit. What does Pisces need to see? I feel an energy of you feeling tied to your person. Now I do feel like with the Eight of Swords, this is up in your head. Almost as if you feel like you can't move forward without them. Don't want to move forward without them. But I do feel like this is causing a lot of delays in your progress, Pisces. The energy surrounding your person here for the month of December. Your person is really closed off. This person is in the process of moving forward. I feel like this person is in an energy of not looking back, to be honest with you. And I feel here this person is focused on their own stability, their own happiness. So how I'm taking this Pisces is this person has probably moved on. Even though uh, the Knight of Staffs, Knight of Wands, this is an indecisive energy. I feel an impulsive energy. Um, I feel like they're in the process of trying to move forward here. Now, before we clarify this, let's look at what's challenging this connection. For Pisces and this person spirit, what is the challenge here? I feel like there's been a lot of back and forth in this connection. Um, a lot of playing a game, possibly even entertaining multiple people. Definitely a lot of confusion, a lot of up in the air, withholding information, withholding energy, not communicating properly and not being on the same page. There is a lot of withholding here, Pisces. I feel like you're, you're feeling in the present moment defeated by this. It's almost as if you're a rock in a hard spot. You don't want to move on, but this person isn't allowing their space to move forward. It's almost as if Pisces, if your heart is set on this person, they know that. 
So let's clarify. Eight of Swords, Page of Cups, Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. In the present moment, Pisces, even though this may be difficult, I feel like you're looking at this situation very practically, okay? And starting to understand that it's time to pull back in an energy of acceptance, okay? Now, again, we see the Knight of Wands coming out on your person's energy. So the Nine of Wands, Knight of Wands, is telling me that this is still impulsive. They're very guarded here, okay? And I feel like whatever's taken place, whatever just transpired between you and this person has probably been a lot of arguing and saying things that to hurt one another, okay? Saying things that maybe you didn't really mean or that you've been waiting to say for a long time vice versa. Now, there is an energy of loss, okay? This is heavy. I feel like this person is done, and I feel like you're in an energy of accepting this and moving forward, even though this is difficult to process. So, let's dive a little bit deeper into the energy of your Pisces. I want to see what the next move is going to be here in the present energy. If you guys are finding that this message is helpful or resonating with your situation, please give it a thumbs up. All the love and support is very much appreciated. It does help with the growth of the channel and getting the message out. So thank you guys so much for that. What we see here so far, guys, is your person has you feeling defeated. And even though this may be difficult to accept in the present moment, I feel like it's time to move forward from this person. Put yourself first. Put your own stability first. Um because I feel like that's exactly what this person is doing. Next move here for Pisces. In the present energy. Pisces. This is beautiful. I feel like you're going to be making a decision to move forward. And again, I don't feel like this is going to be very easy. I feel like you're having to be very practical with yourself, okay? Very honest with yourself in the present moment, you know? Is this healthy? Is this normal, you know, for this person to act like this? What, are, what is the intention here, right? The energy that's hidden, I feel like this person has already decided to walk away, okay? This person has already made a decision to move forward from this connection, Okay, and this is where the conflicted energy, they haven't told you this. They haven't told you that they're walking away. Even though you may feel this energy, um, they haven't actually come out and said this. So where is this all headed in this energy for Pisces and Spirit? Please and thank you. So you're going to have an option here, okay? This option is going to be wait, stay closed off, wait for this person to come back around because this is a karmic connection. They very well could come back into your energy, okay? Or move forward in a new direction, move forward towards a new person in a new path, um, which is going to bring new blessings. What I will say is if you choose to repeat this cycle again, the lesson will be repeat until you learn it. That's how it works. But if you choose to move forward, take the lesson that you needed to learn from this and move forward, you're going to find new blessings here, Pisces, but the ball is in your court in the present moment. So let's pull a few cards out here for your advice guidance moving forward. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. I am going to do an extended version to the reading. In the extended version, we're going to take a little bit deeper look into the hidden energy. See what comes out for other influences. 
can it be saved is it worth it the outcome if the advice is followed it's all going down in the extended version and the links are all below so pisces there is a need to be honest with yourself in the present moment okay and i feel like that is something that you may be missing now with the tower energy it's always a difficult ending always a difficult comes as a shock but if we take a step back and really look at the situation for what it truly is we'll see this was a long time coming you could probably pinpoint when the shift took place. Being honest with yourself in the present moment is the only way through this energy. That awareness piece is going to be key, Pisces. Okay. I do feel like this person has already made a decision to move forward. They're already moving forward with another person for a lot of you. And that's why it's hard to get back into their energy, you know, hard to get back in touch around them, all of those things. If they say they're working or spending time with their family, that's a lie. They're moving forward in another direction. You're being called to do the same. Now, again, this person could very well come back around because I don't feel like they've learned anything. They're impulsively moving from connection to connection. So once this well runs dry, I'm sure they'll be back. However, Pisces, this is a karmic cycle. I challenge you to ask yourself, what lesson is there to learn from all of this? Your soul journey message here is failure. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. Life on earth is full of experiences. It's our human brain that views outcomes as good or bad. The soul simply views them as chances to grow. Lessons. Learn to see the bigger picture of life instead of the minute. Failure to accomplish a task is merely an opportunity to evolve. The negative connotation of the word failure can prevent you from trying again. You must come to the realization that there is no judgment involved with your soul's lessons. Realize that what you view as failure is just your soul telling you that there is another path. Embrace the maximum. When one door closes, another opens. It's time for you to stop any negative emotional investment you have in the outcome. Revel in the knowingness that everything will reveal itself when it's meant to, no matter what. Be true to your dream and the creative process. Pisces, I do feel an energy of questioning, okay, is this the right path or why is this happening to me? And even though it may be difficult in the present moment, understand that everything happens for a reason. Even if we don't see that reason specifically right now, hindsight is always twenty twenty. Make sure that you're taking care of yourself, yourself and your own stability, your own happiness first. Your blessing message here, Pisces, is always do your best, love and nurture your body. Your own body is a manifestation of God, and if you honor your body, everything will change for you. Practice giving love to every part of your body. This will plant seeds of love in your mind, and when they grow, you will love, honor, and respect your body immensely love and nurture your body beautiful 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 pisces so pisces i feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys thank you guys so much for all the love and support thank you for liking subscribing sharing the content you guys are all amazing again if you want to get in on the extended version links are all below otherwise thank you guys again and i look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon namaste